Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to be bringing you another 311 palette of the week video. And today's featured palette is a brand new one from Kat Von D. It's called Lolita Por Vida. When I first saw pictures of this online, I said, oh my goodness, those are my kind of colors. When I went down to my Sephora store and swatched it, one of the ladies there that I have seen numerous times, she saw me swatching this palette and said, that palette was made for you. You wear those colors all the time, and she is absolutely right. So this palette is filled with 18 shadows, nine of which are matte, six are what I'm gonna call just straight up your normal powder shimmery shadows. And then there are these three really unique shades right here in the center. These two on either side are very, these are like a straight up metallic. The formula feels like a cream. That is how smooth it is. So there's no chunky glitter in these, but just a tiny little bit on your finger and it is just full on metallic. I think they are beautiful shades. And then here in the center is this one just really fun straight up glitter. Now this is not your typical powder glitter that just flies everywhere. It doesn't have any base color, so it is just glitter, but this glitter is amazing. It just adheres to the skin really well. And you can see just how densely packed that is. And I just pressed my finger in there. My finger is not wet. And the color of this glitter, it's like a taupey gold, but then there is some pink in there and some reflex of maybe just a little bit of some holographic qualities, almost maybe a little bit of green, but it is a beautiful glitter. Now, when I first brought this home, I was not planning to do a 311 video with it, but I had a subscriber reach out to me who had just bought this palette, but she felt overwhelmed and not sure how to put together some looks. So she requested kind of a cool tone look, a neutral look, and a warm tone look, and she said, please put that glitter in at least one of the looks. So that's exactly what I created for you today. Those three looks, including this one that I'm wearing here, that does include that glitter. So I feel like I was able to dial it back a little bit. So I was able to make that glitter a little more wearable. If glitter is totally out for you, don't worry. It's just that one shade that is filled with so much glitter. But um, as you first look at this palette, and I will put up some swatches on the screen, um, you're going to think that it's just kind of a hodgepodge of colors thrown together in this palette. But on closer inspection, there is some order and organization to the way the colors are laid out, which you know I appreciate. So here, if you look at this section of six shadows, you will see there are a lot of similarities. So you've got your plum, your burgundies, some pink tones, and so all of these really work well together. Then if you focus on just that center section there, um, you'll see that these colors are a little more neutral. There is still some warmth to a few of these shades, but um, they are a little bit cooler. And then if you look here on the total far side right here, these are our much more warm tone shades. Now this one right here is super unique and I don't know if the shadow, if the swatch will pick it up, but it is a duochrome, a very unique shade. It has kind of an interesting kind of bluish green shift to it. So that's one color I have not dug into much yet, but all of the rest I have really been enjoying. I think this is a really good quality palette. And again, it does have some good color, but some good neutral shades. So if you're in the market for a new palette, it is on sale at Sephora or Kat Von D's website. Um, it is $49.50. And if you're planning to shop the Sephora VIB Rouge Beauty Insight, 
lighter sale coming up, then that would be a perfect time to pick this up at a discount. So now with all of that being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the three looks that I created with this palette. And as always with these 311 videos, I will just focus on the eyeshadow, the cheeks, and the lips. I will link everything down in the description box below, broken out by each look that I feature. And if you have a palette that you are struggling with, be sure to let me know in the comments section below. And if I have that palette, I will work on a video for you. All right, let's go ahead and get started with look number one. Starting off each look, I'm going to use the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer. I've already applied that to both lids. And now looking at this palette, there really is not a good brow bone highlight shade for me. Cause you know, I like a matte, cream shade. So I'm going into the Hot Buttered Rum palette and the shade Vanilla Extra and using an E50 from Sigma and placing a good layer of this right below the brow. Then going in with my M504 and the shade Esperanza. And by the way, some of my pronunciations of these Italian names might not be perfect, but please bear with me. So I'm just layering this up in the crease and this is just a super, super pale pink shade. But if you layer it, you will get a hint of a really nice soft pink. And that's what I wanted all through the crease. And then I'm going to take a combination of Lolita Por Vida and that Esperanza shade on the M504. And I am lightly blending this through the crease and then bringing it into the outer corner. And you can see that just gives a slightly darker wash of pink in the crease. And then I'm gonna go to the M433 from Morphe. And now I'm just tapping that Lolita Por Vida right into the outer corner and then bringing that about halfway across into the crease and then just gently blending that towards the center of the lid. And I didn't add any more product. You do not need very much of this shade, but just take your time and blend. Then I'm going in with the E55 and this beautiful purple shade called Romantico. And I'm patting that right on the outer half of the lid. But then I decided I wanted to bring a little more of this purple across the lid. So I'm slowly building this up and I think it would have gone faster had I used my finger with the shade but it will build just take your time and just keep blending and bringing it over a little bit closer to the inner corner not all the way across but about uh, the center third of the lid then I'm going to take the EB21 from Sedona Lace and the shade Carino and this is a beautiful deep eggplant shade. I love this color. I'm using this right into the outer corner and then I'm bringing it up at an angle as I get to the outer edge up towards the brow and just bringing that then blending it into the lashes and towards the center of the lid. So this is going to be our darkest shade in the outer corner. And I'm just taking my time slowly building that up in the outer corner and bringing it a little bit more onto the lid as I go and a little bit higher up towards the crease. And again, just kind of using a padding motion with that. Then going back to the M433 and more of the Lolita Por Vida and using that to then just blend around the edge of that deep shade that we just added in the outer corner and then bringing that a little bit through the crease. Now going in with one of my favorite shades in this palette, this is called Luna. Look at that metallic pink, it's so beautiful. Just tapping this on the inner corner of the lid and then I am softly blending it towards the center. And I am overlapping that purple shade just slightly, but now I'm gonna go back with a little more of Romantico and tapping that over that part of that Luna shade just to make a really nice blend between these two shades. 
and I think that combination is so pretty. Then taking the M433, just slightly blending through the crease, and then going back with the M504 in a combination of Esperanza and Lolita Por Vida, and lightly bringing that through the top of the crease to make sure it's really blended. And then going in with the M506 from Morphe, and a little bit more of that deep shade in the outer corner, and then again around the edge with the M433. Next, going in with the Urban Decay Rockstar Eyeliner, and I'm putting this about a third of the way across on the lower lash line, and then about halfway across on the upper lash line. And I am just putting this right into the roots of the lashes. I don't want a real harsh line up here, but I do want this outer corner just nice and dark. So using that pencil first as a base, and now I'm going in with the Morphe M165 and a little more of Carino. Um, right over the top of that and that is just going to further deepen that liner and just make sure everything stays in place all day. Then I'm going to take a little bit of that shadow and do the same thing along the lower lash line and I'm just putting that brush right into the roots of the lashes to really make the lash line look really thick. Then I'm gonna go in with the Sigma E47 and more of that purple shade. And I'm gonna use the purple, the Lolita Por Vida, and the Esperanza shade. I'm gonna use all three of those colors here on the lower lash line because we are going to duplicate kind of what we have going on on the upper lid and through the crease. So now I'm taking that combination that we have in the crease and using that to further soften the lower lash line, and then going to use just Lolita Por Vida on the outer corner and just connect it with the shadows that we have on that upper lash line in that outer corner. Applied my favorite trio of mascaras, which I will list below, and then I'm going in with the E30 from Sigma and a combination of Destino and Precioso, and I'm using those two shades as my inner corner highlight to start out with. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of Luna on my finger and pinky and just tapping a little bit of that over the top of those other shadows and then using the E30 to further blend all of that together and then blend it into the lid. Then one more time with the E47 and the combination of Esperanza and Lolita Por Vida. And I'm just going to make sure there's a little bit more softness down here. After adding concealer, it took away a little bit of that nice blend we had. So then I'm going in for blush today. I'm using the Burt's Bees Shy Pink Blush and the E4 from Morphe. I just love how this blush adds just a really nice soft bit of color to the cheeks. Then I'm using this beautiful Ofra highlighter in glazed donut on the MAC 140 fan brush and putting this on the tops of my cheeks. Such a beautiful, cool, white shimmer. So pretty. Then I decided I went a little bit more brightness on the inner corner, so I just tapped a little bit of that highlighter in the inner corner to complete that. And then on the lips, I'm gonna go around the edge with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I do this on just about all of my lip looks. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with the Huda Lip Contour in the shade Muse, and this is a really nice, cool pink shade with a little hint of some mauve. And just using this as my liner today because I want kind of a mauve pink lip. Then I'm going in with the Kat Von D Studded Kiss Lipstick in the shade Lovecraft. This is a really beautiful a neutral mid-tone rosy shade and it is matte so I'm going to top it with a little bit of gloss. This is the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in Angelic. I'm sure you all have seen this appear many times in my videos. I just love it as a lip topper. And here's our finished look. I just love how the purple and the plum and the pinks all tie together paired with the soft pink cheek and lips perfect winter pink look. 
All right, our next look, again, we're starting off with Vanilla Extra from the Too Faced Hot Buttered Rum Palette, putting that along the brow bone. Okay, so we are going to the lash line now with the Urban Decay 24-7 pencil in the shade Demolition. And I am just pressing this right into the roots of the lashes and then dragging it out towards the outer corner. As I get to the outer corner, I am thickening that line and drawing it up just slightly, but this line does not have to be perfect because we're gonna go in with the Sedona Lace EB21 and I'm going to blend this out. You wanna work one eye at a time with these pencils because they do set pretty quickly, but I want this to be a nice um, bit of depth at the lash line, but it's not gonna be a look about the liner. So I really want this to be softly blended but at the roots of the lashes, I wanna make sure that there is no skin showing. So I'm going back in and just making sure the roots of the lashes are all filled in because it's gonna make our lashes look a little bit thicker. So one more time with that EB21. And now I'm going in with the MAC 239 and this beautiful shade called Crudes. This is just a really soft, beautiful shade for every day. It is a taupey bronze shade, but it doesn't have a ton of shimmer. It has more of a satin finish, but you can see it just looks so soft and beautiful. It's not too warm, not too cool, but I place that all over the lid, covering over that liner. And then I'm going in with the Morphe M433 and the shade Munica. I'm not sure how you say that, but <laughs> this is a really kind of cool tone pink shade and it is pretty pale, but it was enough just to provide a little bit of definition there to start. And then I'm going to take that same brush and the shade called Juanita, and this is one of my favorite shades. It seems like it would just be a boring old brown, but no, it's a beautiful mid-tone neutral brown shade. It blends beautifully. It can go with pink or into the warmer colors as well. It just is a really beautiful shade and blends so well. Then I'm going to go back with my finger and add a little more of that cruise shade and this is just going to make a little more of the satin finish come through and I just want to make sure that the lid is really completely covered with that. And then I'm going to go back in with the R eyeliner and put this along the lower lash line about a third of the way and then smudge it with my finger first and then go in with the Morphe M432 and a little more of Cruise. I'm gonna go over the top of that liner just to help soften it and make it look a little bit more daytime appropriate. Then of course added mascara, concealer, all of that. And now for inner corner, I'm going to go in first with a combination of Destino and Esperanza. And I liked this, was, this was pretty subtle, but I wanted a little more gold, so I added a little bit of Precioso and over the top of that and blended that in with E30 from Sigma. For cheeks, I'm using this beautiful shade. It's Cola Pop from Clinique, and I'm using the E4, and this is super pigmented, but such a pretty shade. I love this for fall and winter. Don't be afraid, just go with a light hand, and then you can always go over the top of it with a duo fiber brush just to further blend it out and make it not quite so strong on the cheeks. For my highlighter, I'm using the shade called Stunner from Tarte and the MAC 140 Fan Brush, putting this on the tops of the cheeks. Such a pretty highlighter. Bridge of the Nose, the Cupid's Bow, and then why not? Let's just add a little bit to the inner corner. I feel like when you do this, this just helps kind of bring the whole look together and bring a little more cohesion. And then of course for lips, I went around the edge with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And now for my lip liner, I'm using the Sephora Gel Lip Liner in the shade Bellflower. You've seen me use this before. It's a beautiful lilac color. It's so pretty. And these are super soft. So you can go around the edge and then use your finger just to softly blend that in. 
And then I wanted to bring a little bit of rosiness to it. So I'm using this new gloss from Bare Minerals. It's a moxie gloss in the shade Warm Hearted. This is in a special edition holiday uh, kit and it's so pretty. And here is our finished look. I feel like this is super daytime appropriate, but has that little bit of extra depth for fall. And now on to look number three. I've already primed my lids and now because my lips are feeling really dry, I'm going to go in with this beautiful YSL Volupt Plump in Color. It's in the shade number one. This beautiful silver with gold and pink inlay. You can't beat the packaging. It even has this cute black heart in it. And this was sent to me by YSL. I've been testing it out and it smells like mango and it has a subtle pink tint on the lips and it does feel really nice and cooling. It provides a slight little bit of plumping to the lips, not as much as the Buxom lip plumpers do, but it does feel really nice and Again, that packaging is just beautiful, but it is pretty pricey and I'm not sure that it really does anything miraculous for the lips, but it does feel very nice and it's so luxurious. All right, so now back to the eyes, I'm going to use the Vanilla Extra Shade again along the brow bone and now I'm going in with the Morphe M504 and putting in the shade Sylvia through the crease and you will notice I have no foundation on today because we're going to be working with glitter so my tip for you is don't apply any of your foundation until after you've applied your eyeshadow when you're working with glitter. So now I'm going in with that same brush and the next shade over Amor Amorcito and I'm putting that through the crease and into the outer corner and I am just working and building that up and then I'm also bringing a little bit on the inner corner as well because we're going to do a halo eye. So now I'm using the Sedona Lace EB09 and this beautiful pumpkin shade it's called La Lupe and it is just so pigmented and beautiful. So you can see I'm just tapping that into the outer corner and then I am going to bring some on the inner corner as well. So we're leaving the center of the lid blank for some other shadows, but I'm going to kind of create a frame around the center and then bring that brush up through the crease. And then of course we're going to blend, but I'm making sure that I get a good amount of the color laid down and then lightly bringing that up to the crease and then back in with our M504 and more Sylvia through the top of the crease to make sure everything is well blended. Then I'm going in with the Morphe M506 and Juanita. Again, as I said in the last look, this is a beautiful brown that works with the super warm shades in this palette or the super cool tone shades in this palette. Now I'm taking my time and just blending that and I'm only putting this in the outer corner. I'm not gonna put this on the inner corner. I like to have the outer corner just slightly darker. So then I'm gonna go back with the EB09, no extra product at first, and just blend the edges of that and making sure the brown kind of fades into that orange shade. Then I'm taking my finger and the shade, oh dear, Dolce Suenos. I know I butchered that. I'm just tapping that on the center of the lid. This is a burnished copper shade. It's beautiful. And I am just tapping it in the center and then feathering the edges out just slightly. Then going back with that EB09 through the crease and you wanna blend as you go, especially knowing we're gonna add this beautiful glitter. It's so pretty. This is Reina and you can just see how much glitter you pick up on your finger. So I'm tapping that in, and now I'm just lightly tapping a couple times right in the center. And just leave it there, don't worry, we're gonna blend it out. I'm gonna put it on the other eye as well. And again, I'm just kind of pressing it on, don't rub, just press, and then I'm going to ever so lightly kind of dust on the edges of the glitter there. Now going in with the setting spray. This is from Gerard Cosmetics. It's called Slay All Day. I'm taking the E60 from Sigma, just wetting that brush. And now I'm going over the top of it. This is my trick with glitter. If you don't wanna use glitter glue, this will also help keep glitter in place on your lid. And this stayed in place for me all 
day. It was amazing. So I just tapped that over the glitter and then around the edges of it to hold it in place. And then I'm going in with a combination of Luna and <laughs> that burnished copper shade. I won't butcher that again. And you can see what a beautiful shade the two of those combined make. And so I'm using that to help provide a little bit of a gradient effect on the outer part of the glitter. Then just really gently, lightly through the top of the crease, try not to disturb the glitter, blend that through one more time. And then now going in with Urban Decay Eyeliner in the shade Whiskey, I'm putting this about halfway across the lower lash line and then using my finger to blend it out. And then going in with the Elf Smudge Brush in the shade Amorcito and using that to soften that line and make it look just a little more smoky down here on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Juanita on that same brush and use this just to deepen the outer corner of the upper lash line where we added a little bit of this shade earlier. I just want a little added depth here, but I am not going to add liner up here because I don't want to cover up the beautiful glitter. So now I'm going in with the Morphe M432 and a little more of Juanita on the lower lash line just to set that liner down there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. And instead of using an eyeliner to do tight lining, I'm going to use mascara. So this is the It Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara. It's been a long time since I've used this, but I'm gonna use this as a tight liner. So I am just putting that tiny little brush into the roots of the lashes and wiggling up. This is not gonna be my main mascara, but I am using this just to really get the depth at the lash line that I want. This is a great alternative if you don't wanna use a liner on your tight line. So then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara. This is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and this is going to help clean out any of the glitter that may have fallen into our lashes and therefore will not get into our concealer and our foundation. Now, to clean up the last bits of glitter, take a little bit of scotch tape and you can make a little circle of it and just go around and this is going to pick up those little pesky flecks of glitter that have fallen on your face. So after foundation, concealer, all of that good stuff, now I'm gonna go back to the eyes and finish up. So this is the tiny little Morphe brush and I'm going to use a little setting spray on my hand to wet that brush and then going in with Precioso first and just kind of making a paste there on my hand with that. And this is going to help make this shade a little bit brighter and give it a little more of a metallic sheen. So you can see I'm just taking my time layering that and then I'll go back with the E30 and more of that shade over the top of it just to further intensify it and then blend the edges of it up slightly towards the crease. For blush, I'm using Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon on the E4. This is one of my favorites in the fall. It's just such a nice neutral shade. It's almost like adding a bronzer to your cheeks, but has a hint more warmth to it. I just love it for looks like this. And then for my highlighter, I'm going to be using an oldie but a goodie. This is MAC Soft and Gentle, and I'm using the MAC 140 Fan Brush using this along the cheekbones and then of course I'll put this on the bridge of the nose and the cupid's bow and this just it really is a soft and gentle highlighter it has a little bit of glitter but most of that does seem to come off now I'm taking off that YSL lip color that we put on my lips do look and feel much more moisturized and slightly plumped and now I'm going to go in with the NYX nutmeg lip liner and use this around the edge of my lips. You know, I love this nice warm brown shade, especially for these wonderful fall looks at this time of year. And then for my lip color today, I'm using Kat Von D's liquid lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. And you know, I'm not a big liquid lipstick fan. However, hers are some that are more comfortable to wear. It doesn't dry completely down, so I think that makes it more comfortable. 
the key is putting on a super thin layer and then just blending it in with your finger before it sets completely, blending it into that liner. And I think this is the perfect shade to finish out this look. So here is our finished look, that little bit of gold sparkle on the lid and the pumpkin orange and the browns on the cheeks and lips. I just love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.